Yo what's going on guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a professional uh, YouTube profile for your, 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 for your YouTube channel, right? So, uh, the first thing you just open Photoshop and click on File, then click on uh, New. Make sure to, the width and height, height is going to be 800 pixels by 800 pixels. The background is going to be transparent, right? Then uh, click on OK. So now you can click on, uh, you can either click on Gradient to make a gradient for your uh, for your, your uh, profile picture, but you can also select. You can also uh, choose from Google Images some amazing backgrounds. For example, grunge background. Uh, this is used mostly mostly for gray for gaming. You can also click on the uh, blue grunge background, which looks really amazing, and the sunburst backgrounds. So this one is my favorite. So you can click on fi uh, view image. And to download this, click on Save Image As. Um, save it on my desktop. And yeah, so you can click, you can go back to Photoshop, click on File, Place Embed Desktop, and there it is, my BG background. So you can re resize the image by holding Shift and then dragging the image down like this. So it doesn't lose this uh, aspect ratio. You can click on Check Mark. And now uh, you can click on the layer, press Ctrl plus A to select all, and then click on the View tool. Click on the second tool to align the line the picture uh, vertically, and the fifth one to align the picture uh, horizontally. All right. So there you have it. Now you can click on uh, Ctrl plus D to deselect the image. Now you can put some text on the on the uh, image. To, so I'm gonna put my first name of my uh, of my YouTube channel, which is F, so you can. Uh, I'm gonna leave it white, and uh, the text that I'm using is Cyberfall Regular. You can download this text by going to dafon.com. There it is, Cyberfall. Click on download and install it on your PC. It is a really cool font to use. So, uh, if you wanna make the text bigger, just highlight it, and uh, I'm gonna make it to 700 pt. You can do the same thing with the text to align it. Uh, vertically and, and uh, horizontally. Control A to select it. Second option and fifth option, right? So there it is, centered on the layer, on the image, right? So now you can add some. Uh, now you can add some effects to the text by going to blending options. You can click on drop shadow. So uh, distance is going to be zero. Spread is going to be 44, and the size 33. And the be sure that the opacity is going to be the 100%. Now I can also uh, click on gradient overlay and make it to about, um, let's say, 22%. So it looks really cool in this way. You can also uh, click on texture, so you can uh, so it it adds some texture effects on the on the text. But I'm I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to check and check it. After done, you can mess around with the effects and then click on OK. So uh, you can also add, you can also uh, make some effects on the background by clicking on the layered background. I click on uh, hue or saturation. I'm going to change the lightness uh, to about this one, uh, this size, minus 27. So it's going to be a little bit darker. So it's going to be more easy to to see the text. And uh, I'm going to change it, the let's say uh, like this one right yeah it's, it, uh, this light bl this light blue looks really nice I'm gonna keep it like this so in, you can also uh, you can also add by, by going to an um, eclipse tool but right click on uh, this tool I click go to eclipse tool the field is gonna be uh, no strokes. The field is gonna be empty, and the strokes is gonna be white. Uh, and the PT, I'm gonna I'm gonna change it to let's say 40. You can hold Shift and drag it like this. So you can see there is a circle with a PT of 50 or uh, of 40. Now you can add some effects on it as well by going to uh, on the text layer, right click on it, click on copy layer style and do the same thing with the Eclipse 
and then click on right click on it on the layer click click paste layer style so now you can uh, align as well the the layer by control by pressing control plus a click on the move tool second option and the fifth one to align it horizontally and vertically so uh, you can also the final thing you can do is to go to the text and click on filter click on render and then lens flare uh, be sure to, to click on convert to smart object and now you can click you can add a lens flare which looks really cool on the text you can change the brightness of it I'm gonna leave it to um, maybe 136 percent and then press OK so yeah that's basically it guys now uh, you can click on file save it on your desktop profile picture and uh, save as type is gonna be a PNG then press OK so that's all from me from the story guys I hope you enjoyed if you have any questions just comment down below and yeah I will see you guys in the next one peace